And here I am making a liar of myself. Hello, everybody. I'm Josh KI6NAZ. I got done making my Lab 599 video earlier this week saying that I don't really do a lot of these announcement videos, but now something truly has come along that is really exciting for me that also kind of indicates something that we had heard or, or the thoughts that were a brewing in the live stream many, many months ago. The FCC, you know, they've got a public facing website where they show the requests that come in for different radios, right? Because things have to be part 97 approved for amateur radio, for instance, right? And th it requires a whole bunch of stuff to get a licensed radio thing, something that transmits to be lawful for sale within the country, right? So they got to go through all this permitting. By the way, this happens in other countries too, the FCC equivalent of whatever it is, right? They've got that there. So there's a, a website here, you know, I'll drop links in the video description that talks about this new device, this FCC K660D730X50. Well, what is it? Well, it's called the model SPA1, and it looks a little like this from the bottom. And so you're thinking to yourself, okay, what is that? Well, you see, looks like two at least two antenna ports on the bottom, possibly three, what looks like a fan. It's got some legs, and there's a weird little front end to it. And like, okay, what, what does that tell us? Well, it is a amplifier of some kind, specifically that'll go from basically all HF bands, so 160 meters is at the top, all the way down to six meters at 100 watts, and then you get VHF, UHF at 50 watts, right? So it is an amplifier of some kind. Looks like a, you know, something that sits on the desk, right? Because again, if we go back, those are little legs at the top, so you can tilt it up or down. Can't really tell from dimensionally how big it is, but on one of the test reports, there is a mention that this amp does not work by itself and it's on and off is controlled by the transceiver FTX1. Okay, so what this is, is a base station box that you slot the FTX1 into to get 100 watt output on HF, 50 watts output on VHF, UHF. And that makes a lot of sense because many, many moons ago when Hamfair happened last year in Tokyo, we had a live stream and we were speculating, as one does, about different radio things. And a lot of the talk was about the FTX-1. And under this dome, you can see it in many different configurations with many different boxes kind of plugged into the back of it. And I don't know who it was now. This is so long ago. But somebody said, boy, the sky's really the limit with this because when we saw the back of the radio, we saw a little bit of an accessory port there, as well as those two B and C ports being aligned to where you could hypothetically slot it into something, and then boom, you now have a head unit for what you plugged into. So going back to that last image, you could have an extra battery, you could have a tuner, you could have a fan. Those are a number of accessories that are going to be available for the FTX-1. Well, with this attachment, and now what we're seeing in the image, I think the FTX-1 is just going to slot right into the front of that radio, and then you're gonna have base station capabilities. So maybe when you're at home, that little box, that amplifier box is gonna sit in your shack, and when you're ready to go and you know do radio things with that, there, that's great. But when you're ready to go in the field, pop that thing out, maybe put the other battery underneath it or behind it or your tuner or whatever, and there you go, take it into the field. Now, many of you have heard me say many times, you know, one is zero, two is one. And that's an old preparedness kind of term for something, you know, if you rely on one device solely, you will end up being disappointed. And I still believe that's true. But this particular device is going to be special because nothing really exists like this in the amateur radio space. And if this helps keep prices low or lower and allows people easier entry into amateur radio for both home base station use and as well as portable use, well, then I'm all for it, right? I love the concept of maybe saving a bit of money on the long run if you kind of have grouped accessories versus having to buy a full base station, which you put on a table, and then also a portable radio if you're unwilling to just take your base station radio out in the field. And there's a number of people who are going to do that or want to prefer to do that. So I thought I would get the information out there because this is fascinating stuff. Uh, an important note here is that this amplifier is coming out and is approved by the FCC before the FTX-1 is approved. 
I have a feeling that amplifiers probably just get through the FCC faster, and that's why we haven't seen anything come out for the FTX1 yet. But this is a pretty hot item. I think this is going to be really popular, having the ability to just kind of bundle the whole thing and then click pull out your FTX1 and take it into the field for doing summits on the air, parks on the air, or just having a radio on you. Or heck, I don't even know, maybe there's going to be a mobile base station radio attachment that has all your IO attached to it, like your hand mic and all that stuff, and you just slap the radio into it, and there you go. I don't know. Don't know what to expect from Yacy right now. This is really, really cool stuff. So we hope to hear more at Hamvention, which is three weeks from now. Would uh, love to see this in person. I don't know if we will, but I really can't wait to see it. Everybody, I'm going to be doing a giveaway this Saturday the 3rd. It's going to be a little later than my normal live stream time for special reasons, which you will see when you see the posting of it. I will post links in the video description as well as the form to join the giveaway. We're going to be giving away a Shegu G106 as well as a couple of radio oddity radios and the grand prize is going to be a power film solar 60 watt foldable solar panel which is great for a lot of portable radio use i want to hear your thoughts do you feel good about this i'm pretty excited to see this i think this is really cool particularly for hams that were on the fence about what to do in this kind of world where there's so many radio options and yeah, you could go buy a base station radio, and yeah, you can go buy a QRP portable radio or a FT891 or whatever, but why not just this one box, slap the radio in, pull it out when you want to go portable? Seems pretty cool to me, but you tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm Josh, KI6NAZ73.